Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I want to talk about electric car facts and how long do electric cars last. I mean, there's a lot of information with regards to electric car batteries lasting a very long time, such as the, the Tesla Model S, uh, some of the cars crossing 300,000 mile mark with the batteries. Now this is much longer than the average vehicle life today of around 11.9 years, which would suggest the battery aren't, isn't the problem. However, if you look at the uh, key component life expectancy in cars, uh, in electrical systems, it's uh, fairly short on normal cars, like uh, radios and whatnot, being a uh, 10-year lifetime expected. So I went and looked at some uh, component lifetimes for typical electronic components, like your power supplies and whatnot, in PCs as a benchmark. And uh, I think that might have been good as far as helping us figure out what the uh, lifetime of the components could be. So you can see a typical uh, Electrical components such as the power supply, 5 to 10 years, cooling fans, 5 to 10 years, so it's not that long. Um, and here's a Corsair a power supply, uh, lifetime of uh, 100,000 hours, which are around 5 year warranty as well, so they can't even be a, a benchmark. So if you look at the uh, power supply, f or EME, basically for the uh, BMW i3, uh, there's quite a few components in there. And one of the things I was worried about, besides this, you know, you know ICs and semiconductors, is that there's also other uh, components which have fairly short lifetimes, you know, such as uh, electrolytic capacitors are known to have very short uh, lifetimes in electronic components um, that could limit the life uh, anywhere from yeah, pretty extreme. So here's here's a graph for uh, expected lifetime for chips in different uh, applications. And in automotive, it's as short as 10 years to roughly 20 years for expected lifetimes. Uh, this is some information from the uh, Monroe reports with regards to what's what are some of the passive components that are in the EME. And you can see that uh, capacitors, not just... Uh, Thin film ones, but uh, actually the uh, electrolytic, which are the ones that are known to have a very short lifetime. Now, there's also uh, thin film capacitors that are used in a large capacitor bank. In that case, it's uh, AVX and it's a uh, Kurosera uh, device. But if you look at the specs for the uh, device, uh, thin film capacitors. In this case, um, the line on the right is for running at 400 volts. Uh, the lifetimes are actually quite large, so uh, it's not really a concern at this point that it would have a uh, a short lifespan based on the specifications for this particular component. However, the uh, power supplies that are inside of the EME, some of them have large electrolytic capacitor banks, as you can see here. And if you look at those uh, typical CAN capacitors, uh, some of them are definitely electrolytic and of multiple sizes. I went and looked up a specification for a, a typical barrel capacitor here. Um, at 105 degrees C operation temperature, it had an expected lifetime by the vendor of around 5,000 hours for the smallest size. So if you run it at a lower temperature around uh, 60 degrees C, it would be about a 23 year life, which is pretty good. <clears throat> but if it's running at the uh, higher temperatures, that's not going to be the case. It's going to have a much uh, shorter lifespan. So I thought, let's take a look at how, what is the actual runtime or on time for these components. So if I have a target lifetime for the vehicle of 150,000 miles, uh, average speed of around 25 miles an hour, which is kind of normal and a targeted miles of 5,000 a year. The actual on time or run time is about 6,000 hours or 250 days, which is about 30 years to reach that uh, mile target. And that's about 200 hours of runtime per year, which means that even the uh, low life electrolytic capacitors should last uh, the entire uh, 30 years at this rate, at this run rate. So I looked at what uh, failures people are actually seeing, and uh, two things came up. One was uh, high voltage cable uh, isolation, which means that the uh, resistance to ground through the cable insulation is a problem, is one. And the other problem that I saw come up multiple times was the high voltage heater cable failing as well, 
which uh, is causing some uh, some issues. So those aren't even the component problems, but it's something else that might be a concern for long-term reliability. So in conclusion, I started out this investigation with the concern that there might be electrical components in the EME and other parts of the car that could limit the long-term lifetime of an electric vehicle. But it looks like that may not be the case, that uh, most of the components with the actual on-time for the car should be good for at least the lifetime of the vehicle to you know 150,000 mile range based on the usage numbers that I plan on on using and have been typically using on a, a yearly basis. So the good news is that what electrical failures do occur are typically these uh, cables or relays, uh, charger door switches, door locks, things of that nature which at least from a component standpoint are easy to deal with, easier to deal with than the uh, drivetrain electronic failures. So I hope you found this interesting. It was a concern of mine as to whether I should be considering selling the vehicle at maybe 10 years age or whether it would be okay to hold it for another 10 years. It looks like it would be okay to hold it for another 10 years without too much of a risk of a, a serious electronic failure from component, component um, end of life issues.